Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us here. Um, this is um, really our second opportunity here in L.A., at least mine, uh, since the announcement. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun, and every opportunity we're going to get between now and then is going to be equally as fun. So it's just really great to be back. I uh, want to give you a little bit of idea what, um, what we did here this morning. You know, as we're going through this transition period in St. Louis and moving and, you know, getting ready for the setup date and everything, uh, there's not a lot going on at the facility. Um, we've had a few players in over the last couple of weeks, and uh, we wanted to wait until we had more information uh, with respect to off-season program and locations for training camp and potential locations for the permanent facility and to get all the players together, um, you know, and for, for one meeting. And that's what took place this morning. It was great to see everybody, right? It's good to see your teammates, huh? Great. Yeah, Amazing. It was really fun. It's been a while since they've been together. But um, what we did was um, we just, just discussed uh, the logistics of, of this offseason. And, you know, first let me say this. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in our organization working very, very hard to make this come through. Our focus um, when the deal was done was to take care of the players. Uh, that's, that's priority number one, to make sure that they can get set up in an off-season program and have a place to train and work on the travel logistics and things. And so we got to answer all those questions. We had probably 80% of our roster here today. Um, when we announced the meeting, uh, probably a month or so ago, uh, we had guys call, well, I'm on a cruise or I'm at a wedding and things, you know, and it's okay, we'll get the information to them. It was certainly not a mandatory meeting. Wouldn't have been possible if it uh, weren't for the, um, the effort uh, of the Management Council and the Players Association, because these things are not permissible prior to the off-season program. So uh, we had numerous discussions with them. They were both represented in this meeting. Uh, and I thought we got a lot accomplished. So I'm in good company. You, those that don't, do not recognize these faces, Aaron Donnell, defensive rookie of the year last year, year before, pro bowler, and Johnny Hecker, my third team quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we'll open to questions and let's see where you guys want to go with this. Coach, being the, uh, the veteran of the franchise moving from one city to another, what are the largest obstacles you face, and how do you prevent those obstacles from becoming a distraction as you're trying to get the team ready for the season? Jim, we, um, you know, we've discussed it. I have been through it before. Our focus was on the players. I think there's a lot to be learned from the first experience. Uh, Stan wants to do this right. He's going to do it right. You, you've seen, you've seen him thus far. So, you know, what we're what we're doing right with right, right now is to get him um, out to the off-season program. You know, because that's where things start to even out competitively. So if we can get them to the off-season program um, on, in a timely fashion and get working, we'll be in good shape. And those things are falling into place. And that, as you well know, that's, that's Oxnard. That's the Cowboys facility. Uh, everybody there at the, at the residence end have been great. We were there yesterday, and things will be in place and up and ready to go. Where are you guys looking? What part's down? What parts of town? As far as, are you talking about living. as living? Well, I think, and one of the things that we discuss with the players is commute it is very, very important consideration. Um, we've got guys that are going to come to work early, uh, especially once the season starts, and to uh, deal with, uh, you know, the transportation issues here, it would make sense that everybody kind of worked out of the same general facility, uh, vicinity. So we're looking out west, okay? We're Oxnard. There's a chance that um, we'll be able to do a temporary slash permanent facility out there in the Thousand Oaks area. So we're encouraging everybody to work in that area to minimize the drive time. Yes. How valuable is it for you to have a essentially fully formed set up in Oxnard and not have to set that up while also working on Yeah, it's, it's a good question. It's a it's an ideal situation for us. The Cowboys have been, you know, very cooperative. We're, we're going to upgrade that facility along with them, you know, because they're coming back uh, for camp. Uh, so we'll have to leave. Um, we're looking at the UC Irvine facility uh, potentially for training camp. 
uh, and then you know we're and that's looking good. We just we just haven't nailed down our our temporary facility, but it's ideal because we'll be up and running. We'll have a training room, a weight room, you know, equipment room set up, meeting space, office space, and keep in mind. Um, Phase the off-season program starts on April 18th. Phase one and two is conditioning only, so there's not a lot of interaction permitted between the coaches and the players. So, phase one and two is a three-week period where the, the players will condition, and then um, the, the fourth week is that was that time when we can get on the field with them. So, uh, by the 18th, we'll, I we expect to have players out there probably by the 11th. That's when we'll be up and running. As things stand now, do you think it's likely that Oxnard will be the in-season setup? Uh, the in-season setup, no, I don't think that's going to be the case. As I said, the Cowboys are coming back to camp. So. I mean regular season. Right, yeah. No, we're actually looking at, at s several different options in Thousand Oaks. Aaron, what, what are some of the questions the players had with such a big transition? Um, we just wanted to know. We all, it was, it's just good to be here and, and finally hear from Coach and everything. And so we all be on the same page as far as knowing what to expect and where we're going to be at and everything like that. So um, we got a good idea where we're going to be at and things like that because um, a lot of us got to move our families out here as well. So, um, you know, we still want to just come out here and do our job and, and play ball, man, and, and, and trying to get these fans something to cheer about. And that's winning games. That's what it's about, winning games in this league, and that's what we got to do. Yes, good question. Um, we've had a lot of extra things to do, uh, but yes, we're in good shape right now. Um, combine was great. We, we attended the combine. We went through the same process that everybody else. I actually started earlier from my preparation standpoint, knowing that w we would have some things like this to do. So. I'm a little ahead of schedule from an evaluation standpoint. But, you know, instead of sleeping, we evaluate players now. Have you guys looked for players and places to live and have you understood the cost of living difference? <laughs> we, we, we got the idea of the cost difference, but yeah, I ain't really start looking yet, but it's about time to start moving. But we, ain't, we got a good idea where we're going to be at right now, so ain't no need to rush. Make sure I find the right place. And, as far as distance and everything like that. So um, we got time, but I'm going to def definitely start looking. So. Aaron, how much time do you spend in Los Angeles? Um, not a lot, you know. Have you ever um, I've been here probably for a business trip or something like that, but never been here and actually seen the city. So it was going to be a big change for me, you know, being a Pittsburgh guy and then moving to the Midwest and then now in L.A. But, you know, like I said, I I'll get used to it, and I'm still going to come out here and do my job. So. Big city, you know. There's a lot of things, a lot of opportunities out here for sure for us. Um, so just go out there, you know. It's, it's going to be a lot of, you know. I guess a lot of things are going to be coming at us from all different dire dire directions and everything like that. But um, just be yourself, man. So you, you continue to be yourself. Everything be alright. So, Johnny, from a team leadership standpoint, what are some of the things that you're trying to get across to your teammates right now? Just in terms of having to get out there and be calmer, just what are you, what are you talking? I, I would just say that it's it's all about doing things together. Um, you know, we're all we're all we all been in the dark kind of to this point, uh, but this meeting helped clear up a lot of stuff and uh, kind of put a lot of minds at ease, especially all of our wives and uh, you know players, girlfriends and stuff. So um, there's just a lot of been a lot of unanswered questions, but uh, today we were able to get a lot of information. So just knowing that we're in it together, we're all trying to find places. So I'm sure. Um, you know, letting people know uh, maybe you know this realtor helped me out, or um, you know, little little tips here and there help a lot. So trying to trying to keep people on the same page, and um, you know, the the more we can use this process to grow together is going to be um, you know to our advantage once the season comes. Because like like coach has said, there's 31 other teams that aren't going through this, so um, we're gonna be through put through like a unique a unique situation here, so we can use it to the to the benefit of our team and um, you know come out stronger in the end. How excited do you think some of the families, especially the kids are about coming out here and beach and all that stuff? I, I think very excited. You know, they're they're uh, you know a little bit sad to be leaving what's familiar, but I think the the sunshine and sandy beaches aren't aren't too bad to to have waiting ahead of you. So I think people are pretty excited that you know I've been having people hit me up asking me when I'm getting 
Disneyland season passes. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that all shakes out. And, um, what's it like now going from St. Louis to LA, where now the mental expectation ultimately is to win with the history of the Lakers and the history of the Dodgers, and of course recently with the Kings? Well, that's always a mindset, Ben, anyway, is to win games, you know. I think Coach Fisher and Les Snead bringing in all the talent and, and making things happen for us to be that team, to be the top team in our division for sure. But, you know, we just got to go out there and continue to compete, you know, stick together. And we're a young team. We're still building together. But I feel like we got so many playmakers from special teams, the defense, the offense, for us, for this team to just, you know, to, to jump that next level where we need to jump in. Um, we're definitely going to make that happen this year. You know, it's been long enough, and, it, and it's time to start winning games. So we're going to definitely make that happen. Well, that's what that's what John alluded to, and and yes, it is. Um, you know, we're gonna spend a lot of time together. You know, we've got a, a lot to get through, but uh, this is a this is a unique team. Um, those of you that that followed this club over the last couple of years realize how close this team is. Not not from a or in addition to how close we are to getting over the hump, but it's a close-knit team. It's a great locker room. They're going to pull for each other. They're going to help each other. And so I think, you know, as we move through this process and once we get settled, we can use this to our advantage. Jeff, how will you handle the logistics of free agency? Sorry. Well, we've got, uh, you know, our, our main focus right now is, is on our guys. Uh, that's really important to us. Uh, Tremaine signed his, his uh, franchise tender, which was good today. And, um, you know, we've got focus on a number of the other players that we want to get, you know, get done before the tampering period starts. Uh, so as far as that's concerned, I mean, from from the standpoint of where we're going to be physically? Yeah, I mean, you're going to be on the phone? I mean, um, no, there's a chance that – there's a really good chance that we're going to be here. And then so – uh, if we get close to this period and there's interest um, that we would bring the, the unrestricted free agent here to L.A. So. We'll, set base, uh, we'll set up a base, yeah. yeah. Jeff on the Probably Malibu someplace. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, on the, on the transition, are you thinking more Englewood? Are you thinking Coliseum? Are you thinking Thousand Oaks, Oxnard? How do you <coughs> what, what is the logistics game plan? Well, we all know what – when Inglewood's going to take place, okay? We all know that the Coliseum is going to be our home. So, you know, our focus is getting set up in an off-season program and then being able to train. Uh, we've got to prepare for games week after week after week for several years in a, in a place where the players are comfortable. And we're, we, you know, we have the, the potential um, to do that with field space and then with uh, – and nowadays, technology-wise, we – we can set up a modular facility that's probably as good, if not better, than most facilities in the league. So, you know, we're, we're in that mode right now, and that's what we committed to the players, is that we're going to have a great place to train.